Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at a way to handle errors in Power Query. Power Query is the data load component which comes with Power BI Desktop. So uh, I've created this data set which is serial number, employee name and date of birth. As you can see, uh, I've got this date of birth for some most of the employees, but for some of them, the date, dates are not correct. Now let's say I want to get the year for each of the employees. So as I can see here that my data is in a format that the last four characters are years. So I can create a custom column called year of and I will use the text dot end function to get the year. But as you can see, I've got for Daffy Duck, Pluto and for Mickey Mouse, the date is not coming out correctly. So uh, what I want to do is uh, capture these scenarios and in that case, just replace the year of birth with an integer which could be a negative value, which tells me that all these dates are not correct. So as a first step, I will just convert it to number. And I will just, so I will use the number dot from function. And as you can see, it is giving me the numbers where the numbers are correct, but it's throwing an error. So the intent for me was to throw out an error in case I do not have the correct year of birth. Now I will handle this. So uh, I've already got it. What you need to do is use a try and otherwise in Power Query. So whatever script or function call you're using, you put it in your try block. So I'll open this and what I'm going to say is try this. Let's indent it a bit, but if it is not working, give me a value which signifies that this is incorrect. It could be a, a very big negative number. So I'll just click okay. And you can see now that I've sort of handled the error that I was getting and replaced it with a negative value. So what I've tried to do is catch the errors that have been thrown out using the try and otherwise. And uh, once I've loaded the data in, I can automatically find uh, all the employees which have the incorrect date. So this is one way you could use to uh, uh, find incorrect values in your data, replace them with a value and then you could uh, filter them out or you could show them as data quality errors and highlight them to the client. So this is one way of handling errors in uh, Power Query. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video.